Oh, well, crowd celebrated historic Route 66 in Springfield this week, and there's another group talking about the future of our highways. The folks in Northwest Greene County met with officials to take a look at what could be in the works. There was some talk decades ago about extending James River Freeway to the Springfield Branson National Airport, but now a much bigger plan is being discussed. It's likely years away, maybe even decades, but the debate has started. I came here tonight to be able to have a voice. When there's talk about a freeway possibly cutting through farms, there's bound to be a lot of questions and big concerns. Some of the ideas are really close to our uh, hay production and cattle pasture. So that's why I wanted to come tonight. Well, people wanting answers about preliminary discussions of a potential James River Freeway extension packed this meeting in Willard. It's one of the communities that would find itself near the pathway. There was a lot of fear and a lot of rumors and we wanted to explain the process, what, what did happen, what did not happen, was it an idea? I strive to make every decision to improve our operation. I see that those decisions um, are for the next generation to ensure that my family can continue to farm. The idea would be to extend the freeway past I-44 toward the airport and Willard and loop north of Springfield back to Highway 13 and US 65. There is no map, no timeline or money just a concept really not in a beginning stage it's in a it's in a question of do we need it and that's a community question in, a, in an effort to, to just be transparent we wanted to come out and meet with folks directly modon has requested one and a half million dollars to do a feasibility study the money has not been allocated but being on the waiting list means the idea is not going away at any time someone's livelihood may or may not be impacted uh, there's a little bit of a heatedness that could come with that um, i think at the end of the day it was nice for everyone to be able to take a deep breath and it gives the opportunity for Farmers like myself can remain involved. And the farmer we talked to there said she knows the importance of agriculture and transportation, and she hopes there's a solution benefiting both of those. Now, to clarify, this freeway would be a MoDOT project, which means anything planned or paid for would come to the state. County commissioners are simply getting involved since the highway would, of course, run across the county. We'll keep you posted in the coming years on these plans.